Hello everybody, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about favicons. Now favicons are this thing up here. They stand for favorite icon, which is just a 16 pixel square image. So if you look at a few more, Google have changed their favicon recently. Now they have a, a white out G on a, on a blue background. And Mashable, they take the M again, white out on a blue background from their logo. And on my website, I've also taken an element of my logo and put it on a transparent background and created the favicon out of it. Now to do that, I have a Photoshop document which is 16 by 16 pixels squared. And you can make it any size, but this would be the smallest and therefore the smallest file size that you can use. So you put your favicon in the Photoshop document. You can do this in GIMP as well, of course. And save for web and devices. And as I've got it on a transparent background, I'll save it as a ping 24, as this will give me the nicest favicon possible. And then click Save. And notice the name, it's called favicon ping. So if I just show you that file there, at the moment it's a, it's a PNG. All you do is call it an ICO. And I recommend you use this exact file name for your favicon, um, and I'll tell you the reason for that later. Here is the HTML that you need to put into your web page to get the favicon to work. If you're watching this in YouTube, I'll put this code on in a link underneath the video. But the important thing to do here is to make sure that the favicon has that file name and is on the root of the server. Now you could put this in a folder if you wanted, like images, um, and it would still work. But even if you did that, you must be sure to put this file not only inside the images folder, but also on the root of the server, because some websites, like Facebook I believe, actually don't look for this code, they actually just look for a favicon ICO file on the root of the server and then if they don't find one then they won't show your links opposite your nice new favicon. All you have to do is to, after you put that HTML code in, is to put this file into the root of your server and in WordPress that would be where all your other WordPress files are. 